All right, happy Monday afternoon, guys. Even though I think this video is going to be um, go up Tuesday morning. Um, it is Monday late afternoon. Matt should be home from work pretty soon. Um, Eric's home from school. We just cleaned up the house. And I just watched my girlfriend, um, Linda from Linda's Pantry. I will leave a link to her video right up there for you guys. She just did a blackberry zucchini bread that looked to die for. Well, I have bananas and blueberries that I have to use up. Otherwise, they're going to go bad. So these blueberries have been sitting for a few days in my in my fridge. And I've got some, some very happy bananas here just waiting for my KitchenAid mixer. So um, I'm going to be making a blueberry banana bread. I make this a lot. <laughs> the kids love it. And I realized that I don't have a video on it. So I figured I would turn on the camera, inspired by Linda. If you're not subscribed to her, go subscribe to her. Check out her latest video because now I want to go and get some fresh zucchini and some blackberries <laughs> and make that bread. But I love these kind of breads, especially on cool fall, crisp, uh, you know, fall days. Um, and the kids really love it after school, you know having a slice of uh, banana bread or zucchini bread or apple bread. I don't know, just kinda, it's just a homey thing, especially for autumn, you know? There, nothing screams autumn like a homemade uh, baked bread. So, here we go. This recipe is really easy. I'm going to um, post it down below for you guys. I use three bananas in this. I like it very banana ee. -E. If you do not like a very strong banana in your um, banana bread, which I don't know why you wouldn't because it's banana bread, right? Go ahead and just add two bananas. Most recipes call for two. To me, two just is not enough. So I got to put in three. So here we go. My very ripe and happy bananas. I'm gonna get plopped right into my mixing bowl here hopefully you guys can see i'm hoping you guys can see that um i'll bring you in close though when i spin all right so we're going to plop those in and then i'm going to add three quarters cup of white sugar all right so here goes a half a cup and a quarter of a cup and then we're going to add three quarters of a cup of brown sugar um, you guys know I make my own homemade. I will leave a link up above right there in a card for you uh, for anyone who wants to see that video. Uh, I use a brown sugar bear which keeps my brown sugar very, very soft. So here is a half a cup of brown sugar and here is a quarter of a cup my bear right back in there somebody asked me if I re-soak my bear every ever so every so often and my answer is no but I probably should <laughs> but he's still working hard and my sugar is still very soft I love it nothing beats homemade brown sugar I tell you you will never buy it in a bag again once you make homemade it's so good all right so then we're gonna add three quarters of a teaspoon of salt I just use my teaspoon and just add a little less than one. So three quarters tablespoon of salt. We're also going to drop in here a quarter cup of vegetable oil. Plop that in there. I have tried coconut oil in it. Um, Kids don't really like it that way because, you know, it has a very coconut-y flavor. But if you don't mind coconut oil, you can use coconut oil instead. One egg. Plop that right in there. And then you're going to go ahead and add a half a cup of milk. And then we're just going to bring this up and give this a good mix. In a separate bowl, I go ahead and I add all of my dry ingredients. This is one and three quarters cup of just all-purpose flour. Then we are going to add 
one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. And then we're gonna add a half a teaspoon of baking soda. All right, then we're just gonna take a whisk and whisk that around. All right, let's take this to the mixer. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and turn this on low. And then just with a measuring scoop here, I'm just gonna add my flour slowly. Don't want to over mix banana bread, otherwise it won't be fluffy and light or tender. So you just want to mix this until it's well incorporated and then I will go ahead and mix it actually by hand with a, with a little spatula. Let's mix this All right here we go I'm just gonna scrape down the sides there and finish mixing that in and then we're gonna go ahead and drop in our blueberries and I just like to mix these in by hand, that way they don't get smashed in my mixer. They stay plump and whole and wonderful. All right, now let's get this in a pan and baked up. All right, so I have a nonstick loaf pan, which I am going to spray with some coconut oil. Just to make sure it doesn't stick. And we are going to go ahead pour this right in. Like so. There we go. And what I like to add on this, guys, is some sanding sugar. My kids love this part. It makes for not only a sweet crust, but the crust will be really crunchy. And it's everybody's favorite part. So I just sprinkle this beauty with sanding sugar. Now, if you use regular sugar, it won't work. <laughs> tried at least I don't like it's not the same results you need this thick crunchy crystally decorating sugar almost for like Christmas also make sure your hands are extremely extremely clean <laughs> but this is my kitchen so I dip in everything my hands and fingers are in everything but I also wash my hands a hundred times a day, which is why they're always beat up and dried out. And I'm trying to take better care of my hands. Matt treated me to a manicure and my nails getting done over the weekend. It was a nice surprise on a Saturday. He took me out and about. We actually just stopped at the grocery store to grab some, um, some flavored water. And uh, cause I'm still drinking the flavored water, so I don't drink pop. And uh, he stopped by and, and took me to the nail salon and it was a really nice surprise. I was not expecting that. So yeah, it was a nice pick me up. Anyway, all right, so I put a nice healthy crust on there. And as this expands and grows, it will kind of thin out a little bit, but it's fantastic if you've never tried it this way and you like, or your husband likes uh, that crispy, crunchy crust, this is the way to go. 
So I'm going to bake this at 350 degrees for about an hour. It's going to be about an hour. Um, at least with my oven, it's an hour, sometimes an hour and five minutes. It all depends. Um, this one's kind of a big one because the blueberries added volume to it. So it uh, might take a little extra, a little longer. I'm going to put it on a pan just in case it decides to expand and grow over. It usually stays beautiful though. But I'm going to bake this up and then when it's done, I'm going to bring you back and I'm going to show you guys what it looks Gosh, like. We're trying to get it out of the pan for you guys so it looks pretty. And, and... I'm so nervous. No. Oh gosh. Twisting it. Oh, ho, ho. Ooh, big daddy got him. Who's the man? Oh, oh, you are. Just took a little manliness. <laughs> Twist that pan. That's right. I've been steel. Oh, this is metal. Oh, All right. Now the key you. is turning. Oh, now the key oh, is here, turning it over. Here, I'll do this part. All right. So. Ooh. With that's some moist. Saying. It is. With some moist. Uh, that's what she said. <laughs> oh I my mean, gosh, sorry. I gotta, I gotta probably have to get <laughs> that one out. <laughs> Alright guys, so. I got it out. You did. So here we have it. The blueberry bread. It's still oh, really, wow. really warm. I probably should have put parchment in the... You know, we just forget about that. Putting parchment in the pan and then just lifting it out. So it stays pretty, but it's super and you can moist. Spray the yeah, I gotta, I gotta remember that. Here, you gotta taste it, honey. You gotta taste it for them. Honey, there's no, honey, there's no, there's no more. There's no so, more. So, um, I don't know if you guys can really see the top. Oh yeah, you can see the little glisten. See the little, oh, sorry. See the little glisten, glisten. Yeah, the, that's the sugar, that's and the, it's a, it's a crunchy coating. Okay. Everybody loves the top of the. What do you call that? Sanding sugar? Yeah, sanding sugar. Alright, so I'm going to cut it right where this crack I've been came. around it long enough. <laughs> I know what's up. I know the terminologies. And there we have it. Now Look this is... That. Look at that. Blueberry. That is blueberry banana bread with wow. with extra bananas and, and a lot of blueberries. <laughs> Give me a crispy crunch of the end piece. Whoa, this is soft. Yeah, isn't it's just it the soft? top of it's crispy. It soft? The yeah, bottom just of the it's top. nice and soft. Yeah, I just I just add the sugar just to crisp up the top. What do you think? Mmm. Look at that. Man, that is moist. The blueberries are nice and warm. Oh, there we go. Okay, so now I got you guys focused. Look at that. Blueberries are nice and warm. Look at that, huh? That's good stuff right there. Oh, Vita. <laughs> Hold on, sweet pea. <laughs> Ooh, Vito wants to try Take it. Bite, sweet pea. Go ahead. Mmm, is that good? <laughs> <laughs> All right, buddy. That's cute. Oh, my legs really hurt. All right, there you go. All right, so Mason's gonna give it a try. Let us let the girls know what you think, honey. What do you think? Probably. Look at that. So the the blueberries mixed with the banana, it just makes it so moist it and delicious. Mmm. <laughs> uh, blueberry. It's so warm. That is still so warm. And soft. We totally should be letting this cool, but we're taking one for the team. We will. <laughs> no, you know what? This will be this will be fa this is fantastic whether it's warm or it's cooled down. Now it's really good if you put like a um like a glaze on it. But I like the sanding sugar and honestly I like a little pat of butter when it's cooled down. A little pat of butter on that. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, let me know yeah, if you mom. give this a try. Mm. Ooh, give, that's mm -hmm. all. Give me some sugar. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. I'm going to wrap this up, edit this, and get this uploaded for you guys. I do hope you enjoyed this. I, this is one of every time I make, um, I buy blueberries, I usually buy extra. And I make this because the family just loves it. So, <sighs> yes, nothing, nothing wrong with some blueberry 
banana bread. All right, guys, I will be seeing you soon. Bye.